Welcome to video number two of Olivia Reviews of the Base Travel Line. This is really where it all started for me. I was looking for a luggage. Base was kind of like, I've heard about it, but you know. Anyways, I went to work, I saw somebody had like a base product. She was raving about it. So I'm like, okay, it's time to upgrade. I need a luggage because back in the day I was just buying like two luggages a deal from Costco and worked for me for years, but now <laughs> it's time to upgrade. This one is so classy. It's so beautiful. It's $258 in US, which is pricey. So I guess it was time to take the risk and I'm not disappointed. With base, you really pay for the details and that's, that's what I'm all about. So that's why I probably love this brand and why I'm raving about it. So, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the cushioned handle. Guys, you know those bike seats where they're like gel padded? That's what this feels like. It's honestly, it's heaven. It feels like luxury to me. So that in itself, gold. Um, I love the front here. First, I thought it was like, okay, this, what the heck is this going to do? And what is it going to hold? And the first time I pulled it out, it kind of got stuck. And I'm like, oh, did I get a defective luggage? But it actually holds quite a bit. I've hung the weekender on this. I, you can put apparently another carry on luggage on that. I have not tested that out but it doesn't tip over. So I'm really excited about this. I love it. Um, on the side, you've got a weight indicator. I have not had time to properly test that out yet. I did try to pack in as much as I humanly could with heavy items. The light did not go on. So I'm not sure if I either got a broken one or I'm just really close to 50. So the weight indicator, I'm praying to God will not abandon me in my time of need and the lock i love the lock feature i've always had to have a separate lock function but i could not figure out how to reprogram that and when i went online i saw the instructions like it just wasn't clicking maybe i was having one of those days so i contacted base and what i love is their customer service is on point they get back to you like the same day if not within 24 hours but I was a little disappointed. I was like, I've read your instructions online. It's clearly not working. Can you just walk me through this? And they literally copied and pasted the instructions that were online and be like, this is what you need to do to reprogram this, <laughs> reprogram your combination. So best of luck. And if you still need help, contact us. Anyways, I started watching other videos on how to reprogram your combo. So I'm gonna show you how to program this because what I thought the reset what button was and what it actually is, mind blowing. So catch that in another video, but I will put that along because I know it would have saved me at least 15 minutes and time is money, right? So I love the wheels, they extend great. I love the aesthetic. I love that you can pack pretty much anything from this line onto the trolley here, the backpack which I also have a review on. The Weekender, which you just watched in the previous video. The mini duffel bag, which I also did a review on. Like anything and everything from the base travel line fits in here. And I love that. I really, really do. And I care about the details. So inside of the luggage, you've got a bunch of compartments. You've got a lot of compartments. You've got like a transparent one and then an opaque one. You also have like a, the dirt bag, the garment bags, and I also bought the packing cubes, which are in here, and I have a separate review on that in another video. And you've got the detachable compartment as well, which I find so handy. I've always had just simple luggages and they were fine. So to get excited about this is so nice. <laughs> so if you have bought the 29 inch, let me know in the comment box below. Like this video if this is something you wanna get. Anyways, um, this bag also extends around two inches, give or take, and I do take a ruler and I measure that so you guys can check it out for yourself. And apparently this lining here around the zippers is water repellent, 
We'll see how dirty it gets once it's actually in travel. So stay tuned in the comment box as I will be back from my Europe trip around then. And I'll be able to tell you and show you if you guys want to see and I get enough requests for that, what the luggage looks like. Uh, I know with other luggages, people have been using um, the magic erasers. So if you've got scuffs already, there's something you can try. And if this video has helped you at all or swayed you or dissuade you from buying this amazing luggage, let me know. Let's chat because that's what YouTube's for, right? <laughs> I'm Olivia Gaudens and stay tuned for the next video.